Hello all. Today we are going to see what is an algebraic expression. having sides 3 cm. Can you tell me the perimeter of the square? Actually, what you mean by perimeter? Perimeter of a figure is the sum of the length of its all sides. So here, what is the perimeter? We can add all the sides that is 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 or we can do 4 into 3 so 4 into 3 is 12. See the next square having sides 4 cm. So what will be the perimeter? 4 into 4 is equal to 16 cm. Okay. What about the next figure? Here square is having 5 cm. So the perimeter is 4 into 5 is equal to 20 cm. So we have find out the perimeters of these all squares. Can you identify any common number in these all steps? Yes, you can see 4 is common in all steps. Can you tell me a general formula for finding perimeter for a square now? So here is a square and we don't know the length of its sides. And if we don't know length, we can give uh, the length as, let it be S, okay? Since this is a square, all sides having the side S. So, what is the perimeter of the square? We know, perimeter of a square we will get by multiplying its side with 4. That means, perimeter is equal to 4 into S. Let P denote the perimeter of the square. Then we can write P is equal to 4 into S. When we are writing relation with letters and numbers, we don't write multiplication symbol. So simply we can write P is equal to 4S. So we made it in a simple form. This mathematical shorthand of writing number related facts using letters is called algebra. Here, 4 is, is the algebraic expression of the perimeter. And P is equal to 4 is, is known as algebraic equation. S can take different values if the size of the square changes. So, S is the variable in this expression. Since the number 4 does not change in any equation of the perimeter of square, 4 is the constant. Normally, we give small letters for variables. So, let's try to write some algebraic expressions. We can write algebraic expression if ordinary language is given. Ordinary language? What it is? Oh, it's very simple. Ordinary language means the relation when we are telling in words. That is called ordinary language. And we want to write its algebraic expression. If we write the short form of the relation which is given in the ordinary language, we will get its algebraic expression. Here, the ordinary language is given as 4 multiplied with one side of a square. So, we can take a side of square as S. Then, the algebraic expression we got is 4 into S, that is 4S. Oh, it's very short. That's our algebraic expression. Let's have the next question. 4 added to a number. Here you can see 4 is specified in this ordinary language. So 4 should be there in the algebraic expression. So what we can write 4 added to a number 
so that number we don't know any number we can take so there we need a variable so we can take any letter so i'm uh, taking here x so what will be the algebraic expression 4 plus x so this is the algebraic expression for the given question so let's check another ordinary language twice a number twice a number so twice should be there in the expression then that number we can take any number so here i am taking y as a number so 2 into y that is twice so 2y is the algebraic expression the next question a number added to another number here we need two variables so we can take two letters so let it be x and y so we want to add that variables so the answer is x plus y next one subtract a number from 5 so we need to subtract a number from 5 so we want to write 5 first 5 minus any number any variable you can take that is x we can take okay so 5 minus x one more question for you add 3 to thrice a number thrice a number means 3 into a number so that number we can take as y so thrice a number is 3 into y that means 3y and we need to add 3 to that thrice a number so we can write 3 plus 3y clear let me ask you one more thing is there any change in 3 plus x and 3x can you tell me actually 3 plus x means 3 added to a number so if 5 is a number 3 plus 5 is 8 now let's check with 3x 3x means what 3x means 3 into x so if 5 is a number 3 into 5 is 15 so both are different that means 3 plus x is not equal to 3x is it all clear dear so try more problems to have a clear idea with algebraic expression so that's all for now thank you